Hi everybody, it's Tracy, and today I have another project to share with you. And the project is an altered journal. Now this is what my journal looked like before. And that's that. And this is my journal altered. You see that? Okay, so the title of my journal is My Creative Journey. And this is my journal that I will be putting like my ideas and plans for projects and then I'll put pictures in it of the finished projects and I've started that already now I used to have another book that I uh, did that in I didn't put the finished pictures in but I did my my ideas and plans for projects so I just um, tore those pages out of my old book and, and pasted them into this new book and I haven't done all of the, my projects but I just took a few and this one now this journal will be what I um put all of my stuff in okay so let me tell you how I did this now huh I used to have a piece of paper well anyway <laughs> I'm just being unorganized okay here we go so I finished this yesterday and I worked on it for a few hours and um, it was really easy and fun but this is how I did it, okay? You saw the book. And I just measured out. I took a piece of, um, two pieces of cream cardstock. And I distressed it. And the way I did that is I had my uh, work mat, you know, the brown work mat. And I took the distress ink and just um, rubbed it on the mat. And I used... Walnut stain, vintage photo, tea dye, peeled paint, mustard seed, and crushed olive. And I just got all of those on the mat, and then I sprayed water. And after it reacted, I took my, my cardstock, and I just kind of swished it on the paper. And then, after I did that, I crumpled the paper up. And then I opened it up, and I swished it some more. Then, I just ironed it flat and then I so that's how I got the old rumpled look then I edged my pages with a uh, uh, vintage photo and then I went over it with uh, espresso paint dauber okay and then I used my Tim Holtz stamp because you can see the stamping I think back there and I just stamped all over the whole page with that stamp and you can see the back see this is what it looked like before I did all of the embellishing okay now for the embellishments this is a seven gypsies uh, tape and I distressed that with Vintage Photo. Then, for I um, right here, I used another Tim Holtz uh, stamp and I uh, embossed it. And then, I put some of his Tim Holtz corners right there. And then, what else? Oops, sorry. Let me fix this camera. And so, okay, for the quote, I just typed this out on my computer on some more cream paper, on um, cardstock. And then I ripped it and I distressed it with uh, vintage photo and walnut stain. The flowers are Tim Holtz. Uh, dies from the Tim Holtz uh, alterations die and what I did is I used uh, grunge paper on the back and then on the front I used uh, origins paper from uh, basic gray and then I put some buttons in the middle and then I also um, distressed the edges with uh, walnut stain 
And I used the Grunge paper because I really didn't want I want this this out this uh cover to be pretty sturdy and tough because I will be using it so I didn't want to put a lot of stuff on it that would like fall off or rip up or you know or anything like that I wanted it to be sturdy okay and so the for the letters this is just some clipboard uh, chipboard pieces that I used uh, sunshine yellow paint dabber on and then I distressed it some more with a uh, walnut stain and the way I dabbed it on it just made a uh, kind of a uh, what do you call it textured feel to it and then I used my Dymo letter maker or label maker for creative and then journey I used some uh, Tim Holtz stickers and what are those things called I think oh my gosh and I don't even know where I put those stickers but they're stickers by Tim Holtz and I'll write I'll put it down on the bottom down here <laughs> when I when I upload this video and what I did is I cut them out because most of they were all in blocks like this so some of them I cut out and some of them I left in the squares and then the uh, E was in the circle and so I just um, used those those stickers for journey and so that's how I got my cover and oh and the stamping that I did on the background I used walnut stain for that okay so inside, I used the Origins paper for the inside cover, and then I made my own little pocket page. And let's see, that's the pocket that I'll put stuff in, and that's a pocket, and I put stuff in. Oh, and I used this book because, well, I don't have a bind at all or a cinch, so I had to use a book and I took the pages you know the front cover off and you know you all probably know how to do that and um and altered it and put it back on so one of these days I hope to get a cinch but I have to wait until Michaels or Joann's or somebody who I could use coupons where I can use coupons gets it because that's the only way that I'm getting it if it's on sale or with a coupon but anyway so <clears throat> These are some sketches that I did for some uh, scrapbook pages, 12 by 12 pages. And I just took that out of my old book and put pasted it in here. And then here are the notes that I made when I made my daughter's ninth grade album. And then here's a picture. See, these pictures are not really greatest quality. I just printed them off my own printer on some cardstock just to have a little picture of the... Uh, the project finished and this one I didn't have a picture because I gave that many away but <laughs> and here's another page let's see and see here is my sketch and notes for this journal and then here's the picture of it and then here is another um, project and some notes and then I recently uh, altered my heat gun and this is just I took pictures of before and after be, um, a few weeks ago when I did it and I finally just printed it out on that card stock and so that's before and after and I just made some notes about it and that's all I have so far but I have plenty of room for more stuff and that is my creative journey journal. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.